see the nice tea. Can I get to go with chips? Hamburgers. 24 big value hamburgers, only 99p. <laughs> only? One. Govan hamburgers can damage your health. <laughs> yeah, I could get a vegetable to disguise the taste. Oh, spring on you, Chris. That'll do the trick. <laughs> Hello? Hi, all right, all right, Rab. I'm coming, I'm coming. Eh? Yes? Over and out. <laughs> Excuse me, missus, do you know if there's a Jimmy Dye lives around here? Oh, no, son, I'm sorry, I couldn't. Is that your final word, then? It's my body. It's a woman's right to choose. But you didn't choose pregnancy. Pregnancy chose us. We're in this thing together, remember? Well, that's just quite right. That's a rough area. There's no gear midwife around here. They give you a bouncer. She doesn't want to win, she should have heard one. Well, anyway, it's no you that's going to have the bringing up here, is it? Oh, isn't it, Mr. PC? He can't even be bothered opening his eyes when he's lolling back planning my life. I see things much better with my eyes shut. <laughs> Anyhow, it's post postmodern. It's no PC to be PC anymore, is it? <laughs> Yet again, I have outflanked you with my superior logic. Where's that Evan Mother of yours? I want my tea before I hit the pub. You were saying about the joy of parenthood. Hello? She's where? I'll be right there. String you up and gut you like a kipper if you don't shut up, Ponto! The cat moved! He's in there! Right, Mr. Nesbitt. Now, your wife's just been through a most stressful ordeal and it'll require your utmost tact in the medium and long term if you're to help your wife get through this. Is your name Billy Smart? No. Well, stop talking to me like as if I'm Ollie the bloody elephant. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to get I'm here to collect my wife so get your arse out my face and back above your neck again, where it belongs. <laughs> all right, Mary Doll. All right, Al. Wee cup of tea, maybe? Wee cup of tea, Rab. <coughs> Bastard! If I got my horns on him, I'll kill him! I'll kill him! Easy, darling. Steady the buffs. Anybody would think it was you was attacked, no more. I'm sorry, Mary. It's just the more I think about it, the more I feel it's not just you that's been violated, it's, it's me that's been violated as well, you know. Well, he got a bloody sight more than he bargained for if he tried to put his hand in your drawers, that's for sure. <laughs> Stick his hand in your drawers. I don't want to talk about it. She's had a hard enough time, da. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mary, sorry. I'm not asking you to talk about it. I'm no, I'm not asking you to talk about it. I'm, I'm just asking you to tell me everything. I mean, there's a, there's a difference, you know. What for? What good would it do? Well, it would be, it would be cathartic. It wouldn't it be, be, be cathartic because you can watch Ricky Lee, you watch, you watch her, and you see opera and all that. And that's that's how she come like us. You were sitting with and like we all sit down and and we bond, and then then you get up, you see, and you you vomit your emotions into your TV times, and uh, well, it's it's a cleansing thing, Mary. That's I mean that's it. I'm just I'm just asking you to cleanse yourself. Sorry, Mary. Sorry, Mary. That that that, that didn't come out the right way. You want to listen to yourself now and again, because you don't have a scooby-doo what women go through. Shut up! Your dad doesn't have a clue. At least his feelings are honest. Repelling, but honest. <laughs> it's not enough that one animal treats me like dirt. Now I've got to fight you two for the right to own my own experience. I mean, who the hell do you think you are? The right to 
own your own experience. What the hell can I talk at that? Hey, I mean, this is, this is real life, Pierre, is it? No, this is real life. We're not talking a chat show here. I mean, do, do, I look, do I look like Esther Ranson? You're ugly enough. If I said that, I'd be sexist. No, if you said that, you'd be witty. Oh, hello. I'd like to arrange an abortion, please. Do you take Providence? Pet that tree! Mary, 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 Mary. As far away from me as I can get. Mary! Mary! I'm telling you, there's too many of these perverts around. I want to keep this town safe for respectable people. Well, that rules you then, didn't it? Do you mind you interrupting a meeting at a Tufty Club here? <laughs> oh, I'd expect that for you. You don't care if a pervert moves next door to you. You don't care if our weans get molested. If your weans are as ugly as you are, relax. You've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Attitude. It's just as well for you as we are no violent women. Aye, you You did three years for assault. Our boy's a dealer. Our man got life for running a teacher through a mincer. <laughs> Aye. But at least they're no perverts. <laughs> so is it true about Mary, then? What about Mary? Well, from what I hear, there was a freak kick in the edge of the box. Donnelly dummy glasses. and stuff. What is it, sell, Rab? Tell him again, Nori. No bother, Rab. Listen, Rab, I've been meaning to say a hell of a sorry to hear about Mary. Me too, Rab. Me and the boys have just got it. So what exactly happened, Rob? Well, there's no much to tell. The boys stopped her, asked for directions, built her into a close and... ...sold her. God, I'd hate to think of some guy with my Stella. Aye, me too. I mean, I get queasy if somebody just sits in my toilet seat, but my wife getting... All of yours! Easy, Rob. I'll bring you drinks now, right? What? Can I ask you something? Hi. Did I disgust you? What? How can you even bring yourself to think a question like that, Mary? Easy. You've come to bed with your suit on. I can't be so Imagine that. <laughs> See my memory this weather? What am I like? <laughs> I'll buy that. Now, what about the welding gloves? Expecting a government contract for refitting your pyjamas or something? All right, all right, all right. I, I admit it. I'm having trouble coming to terms with my feelings. Oh, you could try coming to terms with mine. Because right now I've got feelings coursing through my body that Claire Rayner hasn't even got names for. So you can just get your bloody arse out of this bed and have a think about your attitudes, boy. Because right now my feelings could eat your feelings and still have what's left of your backbone for a pudding. So go on, bugger off. Well, you don't mean that, Mary. Out. Fair enough. I have been caught in possession of a dodgy set of feelings. I mean, I wish I could be noble. But, I mean, it's not just her that's been violated. My dear her has been violated. I mean, I put that woman, I put her on a pedestal. And I'll tell you, it wasn't easy to get that fat ass up there. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a religious man, but I worshipped at the altar of my wife's body. I did. And do you know why? Because it was mine. I mean, I don't have a house, a fancy car or nothing. I had a woman, low mileage, one careful owner. Then some dirty bastard breaks in here and takes her for a joyride. <laughs> oh, bloody hell! Rushing it a bit, aren't you? Even in government, you usually get some courtship before they start sitting in your face. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was having a rest before I go to my work. I've got a wee part time job. Up the hot dog stand. At this time of night? You get many customers? Oh, they come and go. <laughs> what about yourself? You still in spouse alert like me? Oh, you worry. Oh, you worry. I, I know my wife. She'll win there right now, pacing up and down. I wonder if she's been too hasty. Yeah. 
Ena ka wii no ka nadua. En so kom kriep an an hia. Ti se si sore. Oh, you still here? Sod all. Come on, come on, after eight months, you know. <laughs> Times like these, you realise who your friends is, let me tell you. What bammy bastard's that at this time of the night? It's Rab. I wonder what he wants. Has he got a loaf and a pint of milk with him? Aye. That means it's a dire emergency and he's flinging himself on us. His best friends is a last desperate resort. What'll I do? Bolt the door, lock the window and come to bed. <laughs> Rab's best pal. Ah, right. On second thoughts, hurl a pail of shite or him, then lock the window and come to bed. Sometimes I just don't understand you. Ella! <laughs> Might I remind you we're in the middle of something here? After all, him and I's been through during the years. Well, it would, it would count for something. I mean, I'm Red Cosmopolitan. You're supposed to be as close to your mate as your, your wife, for God's sake. Oh, what is the matter with me? What is the matter with the world? Back when I met Mary, times were different. And my memory might be playing tricks on me, but. Jings, but it's a bra life being a doctor, isn't it, Eric? Aye, Lachlan, healing the sick, making a comfortable yet unobtrusive living. Nothing vulgar, Eric. Nothing vulgar, Lachlan, God forbid. And most of all, being respected by honest to goodness poor folk. Thank you very much for healing me, doctor. A war with your plucky tenement woman. It was only a wee bit thorn stuck in your paw. Or a shame. Can I kiss the hem of your raiment, please? I warned in a fash yourself, and tell that husband of yours not to drink so much. My husband's dead, sir. Then he's no excuses. Awah! <laughs> All the same, Eric, I detect worrying fault lines in the sociological profile of our society. You mean all yon hippie nonsense? Do not worry, Lachlan. Yon will never reach Caledonia. Good God, what happened to him? Gang fight, Doctor. Two squads of govern hippies were having a right square go at one another. He's a leader off. See what I mean, Eric? Uh, uh, it wasn't my fault, by the way. We were just having an argument about who was the most peaceful. Next thing you know, a fight breaks out. Knives flash and all Nirvana broke loose. Get him through to casualty. It was then that it happened. I knew that I had to do something, so I plumped for some govern coquettishness. <laughs> Can I give you your phone number? I'm sorry, I don't have a pen. Be my guest. Govern, three, four, Eight, seven. <laughs> well, we started yeah, dating. Exactly really but you know women, emotional impresarios, they no sooner discover you than they're trying to reinvent you. That's brilliant, isn't it, man? Imagine them putting a man on the moon, man. <laughs> They couldn't have fit one behind the wheel of a corporation bus mail than once in a year. Ah, it's not moving. No, I'm cool now. Best number I sniffed beaver in the vicinity. How are you, boy? No, oh, no thanks, Ram. We've got some LSD in for our tea tonight. Uh, come round later and expand your consciousness, if you like. I need to keep myself narrow tonight. I'm going out with a bird later, you know. You've got a bird? Lucky bastard. Aye. But we get to transcend the material world and manifest our spiritual essence in an all-embracing union with the cosmos. Sure, sure, but it doesn't beat lounging in a settee with your digit up a gusset. True. <laughs> really? Especially if it's somebody else's gusset. 
You're still lunching that fat ass bunt. Ah. You mean the one that gives you the knock back? <laughs> Best thing I ever did. Robert! Robert! Told you I could smell beaver, didn't I? Thank God I caught you. Guess what, Robert? Great news. My boss's wife's had a heart attack and he gave us his two tickets for Dave D's Rosy Beaky Mitten Tits. If we go now, we'll be in time. Come on. I can't. I'm going up to Maryland with Jamesy. Look, Jamesy will no mind. You can go up to Maryland any time. Here's a bush trap, what would you say? Is your horror me? Deal's a deal. I can't let like my pal do. Read mine and up. Fair enough. You know what you can do well, don't you? Hi, you know what you can do and all? I certainly do. Jamesy, you want to come? Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> oh, see, Robert, have a Harlem shuffle for me. <laughs> Mary! Divorce this week, I could be back with a tea set and a toaster. <laughs> All the best. Oh, pal, looking for business? Uh, you'd have to give me a written estimate. Be an insurance job, you know. <laughs> I think I made a friend there. Tell you what, I could murder for a dose house. Excuse me, Hen, I'm looking for... Business? Sure, it's 50 pence for tea, coffee and lovely hot dogs. I still can't take this in. I don't know what you meant when you said your customers come and go. It was for your own good. I was trying to protect you from the wicked ways of the world. I'm not a kid, you know. That's my point. At your age, the shock could have gave you a stroke. It's bad enough watching you eat a fish supper with both sides of your face working without having to tie a nose bag to your ears. Well, that far behind the time. Where did you buy your trainers? Butter. No further questions. And if you'll excuse me, I'm a working mother in the making. I can't believe this. A pregnant woman on the sky. You know that makes my son a pimp? I know. I'm getting him dreadlocks and a white BMW for his Christmas. They just you keep your yap zip we gas you here. You mean he doesn't know? I'll be packing this in just as soon as I've enough dodge to buy a new pram. My secret horror is that it's triplets and I have to work until I'm 70. <laughs> you get a bed for the night? I don't want your charity, I don't want your charity. Here's your charity. Here's a spare key to my dad's new gaff. Try and be quiet, he'll be in his pit. I still don't get this. Three days ago. You didn't want this, Wayne. Now you're out in the game for it. What changed your mind? That's my business. If you'd changed yours, you might still have a wife and a roof. No mind and be quiet. My dad's elderly like yourself, no. Oh. Hmm. What? <laughs> what? 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 What's that you're saying, Mary? Uh, you're what? You're what? Oh. Oh, I can't have a baby. I know. That's the wonder of me. What's the problem? A baby would hate me. I mean, I hate me. You hate me. You've not all your own thing with me. Love. For God's sake, keep your voice to This is Glasgow. They think you're a poof if you fall in love with a woman round here. <laughs> Can you not get rid of it? I'd sooner get rid of you. You with me? Try me. Oh, 
In that case, there's only one thing for it. Oh, aye, what's that? Mary Reagan, will you marry me? Do you want to dance? Do the say, yeah? There's nothing like a good night's kick for getting your troubles into perspective. Eh? I mean, you go to sleep singing the Leonard Cohen songbook and you wake up giving it New York State of Mind. <laughs> there he is! Hi, Ram. I see you've met the neighbours. Go on, Mary. I want you to open up. What was it you were saying about Rab again? I was just saying, James, that underneath it all, I thought I'd married a man that loved and supported me. Oh, he cares about himself. Looks like I'm going to be breaking in the first cliché of the new millennium, eh? My husband doesn't understand me. Just don't lump all men together, Mary. I mean, I'm a feminist myself, you know. I understand women. Well, I should have shagged hundreds of years. <laughs> James, this is no time for jokes. Oh, jokes? <laughs> is that you, Mary Hen? Aye, just one more drink, that'll be me. Uh. Drink isn't the answer, Mary. It's not even the question, Ella, I know that. But right now, the only sleeping pill that works for me is prescribed by Dr. Buckfast. Cheers. Cheers. Mary, phone him. Eh? Hello? Mrs Nesbitt, WPC Boyle. We've been trying everywhere for you. I wonder if you could pop in, please. There's someone we'd like you to take a look at. Well, there you go, Rob. It's a funny old world and no mistake, eh? Huh? Uh, certainly has in your case, Dan. She wants to score you a uh, pervert or what? Rab, they look like a pervert. Uh, looks are no guarantee these days, are they? I mean, look at me. I've got a mind like a sewer, but to the world, I'm Mr. Chuckles, your local fat happy bastard. <laughs> well, I'm misunderstanding, Rab. You want to know the truth? I was stitched up by an ex-lover. She was jealous when I traded her in. You know what women are like. <laughs> Do I know just? <laughs> Actually, I don't. I think that's half my trouble. Ah, there he is. Right, here's the plan. We stove his head in, humanely, with a brick. And then, just before he dies, we force him to forgive us. That way, there'll be no irritating problems later on with conscience, bloody pervert. I bet he's not a pervert. I bet he's a paedophile. I'll bet he's worse than a paedophile. I bet he voted no, no at the devolution referendum. <laughs> Let's get him! Ah! Like it, Rob. Oh my God, it's a laboratory. <laughs> Goodbye, Tutti. Coco Pops. Coco Pops is coming, son. Coco Pops is coming. Mrs. Nesbitt, is that him? Aye, that's him, all right. Apart from the horns, the tail, and the glowing red eyes. What? Nah, nah, nah. Who's that, William? His mother. Poor woman. Is it all right if I get him now? Well, will there be someone there waiting for you? <laughs> Touching a bit of a sore point near him, but I'll be all right. Mrs Nesbitt, your husband's here. Ella, tell me you were up the pig trough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James, pal, I didn't mean to sound patronising there, you know. You have pushed it right to the edge this time, Rab Nesbitt. If it was me that fell off, and I am doing my best to pull myself back up again, 
Oh, you going to use a horn? Oh, it must be a writing mug. Shite. I thought you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Uh, large body, please, Nori. Celebration time, eh, kid? What are you hoping for? Well, judging by its lineage, anything you don't have to milk or throw a saddle over will be a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> ah, wacky guys. No, no, I don't mind what it is, as long as it's normal. Eh, oh, my tab, Nori, eh? Normal? That leaves a fair margin for error around here, eh? <laughs> All right, sis. I hear congratulations are in order. Aye, the Leafs in order may like it. The blood tests were negative. That's why I'm having it. If you need a ride down the bottom line, there is no bottom line. We kid ourselves on more rational beings, but what we really are is open wounds on legs. See, if you want to stay rational, take a tip with me. Don't love. Because see if you do, one wee dunk for the cloven hoof of fate I'll send you squealing like a stuck pig. And let's face it, who wants to shag a hunter with a back bacon? <laughs> <laughs> like in a perverse way, it was a compliment to her that I should be such a petulant, angry, selfish bastard. I mean, she should thank me for that, you know. Mind you. It's no a theory I'm willing to put to the test. I don't fancy my balls getting served up in a cocktail stick with my next pint, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, mate. That's a wee cuddle. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, eh, Rab? Don't think we're ready for that yet, do you? No, yeah, I suppose no. Come on, let's go up the road. Mrs Nisbet, you know Stein? The karaoke will be starting soon. No, you're all right, Hen. Wayne's, eh? They don't know what's in front of them. If only you knew what was behind us. Mona. Oh, ho! Oh. <laughs> Out. Jack! 